the global economy crashed back in 2008, triggering massive unemployment in a gloomy market. Years have passed and the economy has slowly recovered in some countries. Others, though, are taking much longer to get back on their feet. The economic recovery has not yet reached the most needy, which have been hit the hardest. It takes time. So ethically speaking, we can't focus on being an economy healthy on a macroeconomic level that leaves the poor out. The needy are still suffering the consequences of this recent economic crisis. Greece, Ireland, Italy, Portugal, Romania and Spain are going through this painful recovery process. Caritas, which is the umbrella charity organization of the Catholic Church, laid out what it's doing in Europe to help families who are still recovering from the crisis. No longer do we see only illiterate people without education asking for assistance. What we're seeing now are people who finish school and some who even have higher education degrees. The basics, like food, housing, clothing and sometimes even employment, are still being offered. But now the focus has somewhat shifted to a more grassroots level. At least in Spain, the crisis is based on the structure of the system itself. So we have to go back and look at the social model we're dealing with. And with a higher divorce rate, Caritas has also seen a change in the profile of those who seek help, not only for themselves, but for their children. We are helping a lot of adults who are going through a separation. The children suffer the effects of this not just economically, but also when it comes to the divorce of their parents and the vulnerability this creates for them. Caritas Europe includes a network of 49 affiliated organizations in 46 European countries.